The first thing I want to do is to take care of the fish. So I have some oil here heating up. Um, we're going to deep fry the fish today. And this is the fish that I'll be using today. I'm using just regular tilapia, any tilapia works, or any white fish that you like, definitely use it. I'm going to use tilapia today. We're going to fry this super, super crispy. But all I did was pat it dry, make sure it's completely dry before you fry it, just to be safe. Um, season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of white pepper and we're gonna deep fry this. I'm not gonna put any coating whatsoever on the fish. We're gonna deep fry it as it is like this. Other fish you guys could use include like bass, you can do cod, um, you could do any other white fish that you prefer. You could also do salmon. I did salmon once before too, but you know, again, it's really up to you. Um, the only fish that I don't recommend using is any type of fish with a lot of bones in it, like trout. I don't really like to use trout. So tilapia is really cheap fish to buy. And for this dish, since we're frying it fairly crispy, I don't really like to get expensive fish for this because you don't want to waste the texture of this. But this, using tilapia, for me, is my favorite way of making this. So the oil is nice and hot. And we're going to go in and fry this. So when you put this in the oil, make sure you stand back because it is dangerous. Again, I don't have any coating whatsoever on the fish. We're going to fry it as it is. Okay, so my pan's not big enough. I'm going to do two batches frying the tilapia. And I'll show you guys how crispy I like to fry this up. So we'll let this go for a good five minutes or so on the bottom. Don't move it whatsoever because if you do touch the fish and move it at this point, it's going to break on you. So just leave it and let it crisp up for a good five minutes or so. Just make sure your temperature is not so high um, where it burns the fish. Okay, I'm starting to notice a little bit of browning on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and start flipping this over carefully gonna pop so you guys want to be careful at this point tilapia is a very fragile fish so if you guys move it um, too soon it's gonna break apart on you so make sure you keep it as it is until it's nice and crispy then you can flip it over again depending on which fish you guys end up using you know cooking wise it might be a little bit different so this is browning pretty nice. I'm gonna let this brown even more. I want it super, super crispy. At this point here, you guys can take it out if you guys don't like your fish to be too crispy. But the best memory of eating this dish is when my dad would fry the fish till it's super crispy. And then when you eat ngala with uh, rice, you get that crispy bits and it's so good. So again, if you guys don't like your fish to be overly cooked, like the way I'm gonna be cooking it today, you guys can just cook it to the way you like to eat your fish. So I'm gonna let this go for another, I don't know, three to five minutes and then I'll show you guys how crispy I actually like to cook the fish. All right, so the fish is nice and super golden and brown and crispy and cooked. We're gonna drain this out. So this is the one I like. This is how crispy I like to cook it. Super crispy, super, super crispy on both sides here. Again, you guys can cook it um, the way you like it. But for this dish, it's amazing, super crispy like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking the rest of this fish. And then after that, uh, we can go ahead and I'll show you guys how to make the dressing and mix it together. By the way, if you guys have an air fryer, you guys can definitely try air frying the fish. Just coat it with a little bit of oil before you put it in the air fryer and just fry it up till it's nice and golden and crispy. Um, because this, this way is my favorite way to do it, but it is kind of dangerous because of the moisture content in the fish. So you have to be very careful not to hurt yourself or burn yourself here. But again, if you guys had an air fryer, I would give it a try. So while the fish is cooling down, let's go in and I'll show you guys how to make the dressing. So I have a small bowl here. I'm just going to add some lime juice in there. Um, I have some fish sauce here as well. And some pepper. This is the fresh pepper from our garden. You guys can use fresh ones. You can use dried ones. I'm going to use both today. I have both of these today I'm going to use. 
I like both of this texture, so um, again, you guys can use whatever spice you like. So the dried one's in, and a spicy fresh one. And I have some sugar in as well, just to balance out that salty and sour. And I have some mushroom seasoning here. I'm going to add that in there as well. And that's it for the dressing. I'm going to mix this really well. And we're going to set this aside while we go ahead and finish taking care of the fish. So I'm going to leave this on the side and let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to take care of the fish and the other herbs. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to cook the garlic and the uh, lemongrass and the kefir lime leaf in some oil to um, bring out the flavors. So I have my stove top here. I'm going to turn on the heat and place a pan on top. I have about two tablespoons of avocado oil. You guys can use whatever oil you guys like, but I'm going to use avocado oil today. Heat this up and we're going to cook some of the minced garlic. Now this part is totally optional. You guys don't have to cook the garlic and the, sh the uh, lemongrass and the kefir lime leaf, um, but I do find that it brings out the flavor a lot more. Okay, I have about two tablespoons of minced garlic here, which is roughly around six to eight whole garlic cloves. Go ahead and add that into the oil. Stir that around. And I'm going to brown a little bit of the garlic here. Not completely burn it, just a little bit brown so the oil is infused in the garlic. Okay, once I see a little bit of brown on there, go ahead and add in some cut up lemongrass here. I'm using about three lemongrass fresh from the garden. Go ahead and add all of that in there. Mince it up pretty good so it's nice and easier to eat. Stir this up as well. And then I have some kefir lime leaves here. This is about two tablespoons of kefir lime leaf. Kefir lime leaf is amazing pairing with some fish. So I'm using quite a lot. If you guys don't like it, you can use less, but I'm using about two tablespoons of this. Go ahead and add that in there as well. So I'll take this up. But cooking this, you guys can already smell the aromas coming through which is really nice. One of the main reasons I like to cook it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and turn off the heat. And we'll switch this over. Alright, go ahead and place the saute into a mixing bowl where you're going to mix the fish. Okay, now we can go ahead and add in the fried fish here. I am just going to crumble it into bite-sized pieces. If you guys have a food processor, you can just put it through a food processor and blitz it until it becomes a nice small chunks here. But I'm just going to use my hands because I like different texture of chunks in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all the fish and then uh, after that I'll show you guys how to mix it with the herbs and we're pretty much done. It's pretty simple. Okay, the fish is nice and crumbled here. Let's go ahead and add in the dressing that we made. And then let's add some herbs. So I'll show you guys the herbs that I'll be using today. Um, the ones I picked from the garden. I have some fresh green onions here, some Thai basil, mint, um, some shallots that I sliced up pretty thin, and then I have some cilantro and just a little bit of dill. You guys can use um, soft tooth coriander as well if you guys want to, it's really up to you. And when it comes to lye, you guys can add as much herbs as you prefer. Um, a lot of people either like a lot, a lot of people don't, so it's up to you. I'm using pretty much like a third of a cup of each to half a cup of each herb. And the last thing is some um, roasted rice powder here. I'm using about a fourth of a cup of roasted rice powder that I re-roasted and warm up in the pan um, to get that nice nutty flavor out. Go ahead and add all of that in there. And at this point, go ahead and mix it. Okay, this is pretty much good. 
So once everything's mixed, you can definitely taste for your seasonings. You can add more sour limes in there. You can add more spice, more fish sauce, up to you. Um, some people also add bade in there or to make it more of that fishy umami flavor, but um, we usually don't like to use it in our house. But again, it's preference. You guys can add if you want to. This is great with some sticky rice. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Let's go ahead and plate this up and then uh, we can enjoy it. It's so delicious. mà nong ga la ha no phở ha mà cá hế này no yeah that's thing